The last thing we're going to do with change-ups is to make it as hard as possible for the hitters. We can adjust from fastball to change with the remote. We can use a setting number one that alternates every 10 seconds. Or we can use either setting two or three, which randomly moves from fastball to change, change up to fastball, at a random manner. So all I'm doing is feeding the machine. I'm putting the ball on the outside corner. I'm telling the hitter there's two strikes. Expect a fastball, adjust for an off speed. If it's close, just try to stay alive. And we're practicing fighting with two strikes, which is a lost art, but it's one that we want good hitters to have. So here we go. Two strike hitter. Okay, that was fastballs only. Now I've gone to the random pattern. Okay. Oh, baby. It's tough. Honestly, you expect hard away and you just try to fight and adjust. And uh, sometimes the pitcher wins. Good take. Oh. And after you foul off two or three or four, you're going to get a hittable fastball. You just got to learn how to stay alive and get the pitch count up. Okay. And in this situation, a foul ball is a good thing. It's one more pitch and you got one more opportunity. Square it up. Take that thing when it's a ball. Take it when it's a ball. Hit it when it's close. In conclusion, we've given you all sorts of drills and ideas about how to maximize the use of this machine. We can throw right-handed, left-handed cutters, right-handed, left-handed fastballs, curveballs, sliders. We can throw change-ups that if you start by tracking the ball and then you work on hitting the ball to different zones and then you conclude with very game-like simulations you can maximize this machine and maximize the preparation that you're giving your players to actually recognize pitches see them and react properly to them